welcome back. It's Ariana, and that's my little cat, Kelsey. Kelsey is a little shy and sleepy today, so if it's okay with you guys, I'm gonna be doing most of the talking. Since I've seen you guys, Eric and I have been living in our Barbie RV, which you can look at our previous videos to see the process of how he turned this drab, boring RV into my Barbie dream house in five weeks. We have also been cross country. It was the best trip ever. God totally blessed us, opened so many doors, and now we have a super busy schedule until the end of the year thanks to that trip. And we just went on that trip on a whim, just trusting God, not really knowing what we were doing. On our trip, we met so many inspirational people and I got to photograph them in the Barbie RV. So that was such a treat and a dream for me because I love photography and I love taking other people's photos. I just love everything about it. My dad's a photographer, so I definitely got that from him. This video, I am super excited to share with you that after a lot of talking, actually not really, we just had like one little conversation, Eric and I decided that the outside of the RV doesn't match the inside. It's just sad, dull, and boring. So we decided the only other option is to paint the outside pink. This is a 35 foot Damon Daybreak motorhome. We are going to paint the whole thing. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. Eric is going to paint it. I'm going to do whatever he tells me. I've never done this before. Now, Eric was a paint contractor when he was 17. He has tons of experience with everything because he's also an incredible set designer, art director, prop master. He can kind of make anything. So I'm really grateful that he knows what he's doing because I definitely don't, but I'm so excited to learn and share with you guys. So let's get started. Ah. We started the process by washing the whole RV. Then I took a putty knife and a heat gun and got rid of the decals that we didn't want on. You'll notice we left quite a few decals on, which we have a special plan for those later. I cleaned up the remaining decals with some acetone and a rag, while Eric painted some accent pieces, cleaned and sanded decals that we're going to keep and work with later. Using a caulking gun, Eric went over any imperfection and smoothed it over so that the paint will look flawless. Shout out to Liquid Nails Sponsor Us. Originally, we had planned to paint in the desert, far away from all human eye. <laughs> but unfortunately, it was a little bit too windy, so Eric ended up painting it right outside his parents' house in good old suburbia. Eric rented an airless, used three gallons of paint, and painted it under 30 minutes. Hey neighbor. I highly recommend not doing this in a uh, neighborhood, but you know, desperate times. And it's better to ask for forgiveness, right? We are just missing one thing, holographic decals. Now remember I said we're gonna keep some of the decals already on the RV? Well, we decided to follow those lines with our own little style. And there you have it. The Barbie RV. So, what do you guys think? Do you like the pink? You hate it? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and send this video to someone that you think would love a pink RV. Next video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about RV life, what it's like at an RV park, and our cross country road trip that changed our lives. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you pretty soon. Bye.